couple of moments that I have an occasion, I have a time to share my ideas here. This is the topic I should share with you, technological education beyond the facts and challenges. We know that we cannot separate our life with technology because technology is the product of education. Even it develops every single minute. We cannot hide, we cannot avoid. Uh, even we do nothing, technology keeps growing. That is our, uh, the situation we are facing now. But then something unpredictable happened about 12 months ago, COVID-19 attacked us here. It says that the global subject are definitive. While the virus itself may not be a direct threat to children and youth, the social and economic impact of the pandemic certainly is especially for those living in vulnerable circumstances. There are already reports of climbing poverty rates and deepening inequality in education. Meanwhile, the International Labor Organization citing unemployment loss among young people more than double that for adults. Words of a real risk of lost generation. That is what we are afraid of. Well, ladies and gentlemen, teachers, it is very important for us to realize if we just keep silent, this will happen. The lost generation. When school closed, teachers could not meet the students, teachers teaching at home, students also learn at home. And we are not sure that the activity runs well. As we know that in the end of the semester, in the end of year, students get the report book. Teachers share the report book of the uh, result of the learning process, but we are not sure what is really happening to us. Well, so what should teachers do? This is what we need to uh, think again and again, because uh, the last generation is really a bad situation in case we just stay. What should we do? What kind of best strategy for us to do? Of course, nothing else but online class. Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, education world is coming to a new episode. We are forced to run online class. Ready or not, the online class, we should do it. And then Google Meet and Zoom meeting and any other application get with virtual uh, meeting emerge as the heroes. We get no choice. We should run it. But new problem arise. What the problems are? Uh, students do not have the device. When one of the teachers, one of the teachers uh, suggests us to have this kind of a seminar, I really support, I really agree. This is the time for us to discuss because the problem we face are the same. We are having the same problem. Asia are developing countries. Many students here want to study. They can join the online class, but the problem is simple. They do not have the device. In the end of my video, I show, I show you that uh, I run the, the online class at my office. But at the same time, imagine the students who do not have the device, they just waiting at home. They do not know what to do. That's why I should separate my time once in a classroom and in other time I should visit my student. 
just waiting at home they do not know what to do that's why i should separate my time once in a classroom and in other time i should visit my student of course i should obey the health protocol second students could not access the internet of course this is not teachers problem it is government problem it is too high for us for teachers we have to make a kind of recommendation for government to the government to realize that online class online meeting online study could not run except the internet run well and the third this is also very important if the normal activity at school students go from their home to school and the parents at home they are free to go to their job field to they work they are working and students at school they are attended by teachers but this situation is different when the teachers need to go for work the parents need to go for work the teachers teach at home and the students stay at home and nobody accompany them nobody guide them nobody attended them it will be a problem let think this child the children with only accompanied by gadget cell phone or laptop it's a bit dangerous i guess don't trust our children to youtube or any online game and force everyone students need control of course need control because students need a teacher how to operate their cell phone how to operate the gadget and especially how to manage their time it will be a big problem for teachers and for parents also if we let the students do as the way they want to do even though it is on behalf of learning well ladies and gentlemen student problem the internet access the device the control the guide but the biggest problem for us for teachers is to be technologically illiterate well we cannot deny that this is technology era we cannot avoid from the attack of technology every day every single minute the new product of technology come to our home come to our hand uh, technologically illiterate means we try to avoid we try to hide from that technology we it seems that we are afraid of it the technology run too fast and we cannot run with him but somehow this is what teachers have what should teachers have avoid to be the technologically illiterate generation if the teacher not cope with the technology how can we cope with our students we try to love technology because technology is our students world now today uh, it is not wise if teachers forced to learn all subject all types all kinds of technological product not that way it means that teachers should open their mind to see to understand and uh, wisely to choose what kind of technology which part of technology that we can apply to our uh, activity to our teaching in the class well ladies and gentlemen of course this slide won't tell you the definition of technology education technological technological education 
I was thinking to define this, to give you the definition of technology and these four words, but then, no, it is not necessary. The answer is because Google knows better than me. He can tell you more than I can. Google describes better than anyone else. This is technology, everyone. When I, when we are teachers in the classroom and we give practice to students, we get them tasks, we get them assignment. And then after that, we just sit in front of the class, waiting for the students doing their tasks. We have to realize that easily students will take their gadget. They directly open the Google and they will find the answer in seconds. Beautiful situation, I guess. Well, instead of questioning the definition about what technology is, let us discuss about what have the technology done to you, to us. What have the technology done to us? Does it help our work or is it become our burden to move faster? That's the problem. Does technology really help you work or does it only appear as your new activity? As we don't realize that we are trapped by new activity on behalf of technology. Everyone let's try to evaluate our time spent using technology. What do we do every day when we are wake up in the morning? This is the device we are looking for. And after a few minutes, we get a breakfast accompanied by this. And also while we are talking with our family, we never let this from our hand. Even when we, we, we go to our office, we, we do realize that this device is not in our pocket and we will be in rush, turn back to our home to find this. Why? We have to think very deeply to comprehend this situation. What does the technology do to your class? This is a very important question for us to answer. What does technology to your class? Uh, after a few months forward, I believe that uh, COVID will will disappear or we will be it will be a normal among us. But we do not ever hope that the situation, learning, and teaching process will be as we did before the COVID come to us. It would be very different. The teaching process, teaching and learning process nowadays will be very different than before. If you are thinking about technology, your students know better. Do you realize that? Sometimes I ask the student how to use something. Sometimes I ask the students how to apply this and that and I feel I feel fine because they know more than us uh, looking at this situation I do realize this is the period of them their period and we have to walk along with them the teacher and students take the position the teacher is the teacher but not the one who comprehend, who understand, who master the technology. Now, learning and teaching process and the technology we are using is separated. They know more about technology, but culturally in Asia, they will wisely, they don't say it. No, but no, no students say that. No, I know, I know it very well. I even know better than you. No, no student will say that. But they know that they know more about technology. They are very close with technology instead of us. Even our students really want to say, can I help you, teacher? 
I don't know what happened to you in your country in Philippines, Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, Malaysia, Brunei, and Singapore. But here in my school, when I bring some electronical device and I try to turn it on in the classroom, sometimes I, I ask students to come forward. Help me to do this. Uh, easy teacher, don't worry. Well, I learned from that situation. It means that technology is closer to our students than to us. Why is that so? Because technology, as I said again and again, technology is our students' world. We are only guests who come late. Technology is our students' future. Don't teach our students as the way our teacher teaches us. No, it is not wise. We still remember the way our teacher were teaching us. They stand in front of the class, they hold the book, they read some paragraph and then ask us to do something on the, the, on the, the student's table. And after a few minutes, they should submit their work to the teacher, the teacher check it out and then return to the students with the mark A, B, C, or with the comment, well done, very nice, excellent. This time, that kind of situation is not really, won't really work. Probably, probably in some situation. Because we have to adjust our activity with the student's work. It is not possible for us to teach the way our teachers taught us because it seems like uh, we grab students future and design it to be to be ours a uh, couple years ago that is not wise well have you ever tried to do this with your baby with your child with your kids just give your cell phone to your baby to your child to your kids they will send you a text in a few minutes. They will even download 100 games in a few minutes. Remember the first time we map the cell phone, we read the, uh, what is it? It is not catalog, but uh, the rules, how to operate this. But now it's different. When the student, when the kids got the cell phone, they will directly operate it, they understand faster than us. Well, maybe this is a big task for us. A big question, you have to think very deeply. When you are practicing, when you are using technology in your classroom, the question is, are you teaching the subject to your students or teaching how to use application in your subject to your students everyone it is different question it means that you have your own subject i teach english other teacher teach math teach science teach many subjects but when they are using application we have to we have to take this question are we really teaching our subject or we are teaching how to use this application in the subject. It means that do our students really study or do they only learn the new application? We need to, we need to think again and again when we are going to use one application because students use one application of course they seem that they learn english but when they uh what be a part for that application and then we try us again about the subject they seem they do not understand what we are learning before what they know is just the application well that is a simple question for me especially well ladies and gentlemen it is confused, confusing for some teachers because they have to learn how to apply the application. Secondly, they have to 
uh, run the application or join the application, connect the application with the subject. Make sure you are not wasting your time in your classroom. Well, teachers, ladies and gentlemen, many teachers are proud of what they have learned about technology instead of teaching the subject they have to teach. We have to be aware with this situation. We learn again and again about the application, about the technology, but we forget that students are waiting what we are going to teach. Um, understand the situation first. Technology, more like you are entering your student's tool instead of ours, <laughs> not yours, ours. When I see the new application, when I see the new device, I always think that uh, my students know well better about this than me. <laughs> well, technology and your students are not, we are with technology. You and your students are not racing in it. So don't feel hesitate to ask students when we get problem with the technology. They know, well, they are closer to the technology than us. You and your students are not racing in it. If you do so, you will be uh, the loser <laughs> in the top racing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this will be the closing for me. Never let you become the teacher who digitally illiterate in your teaching. Uh, you should learn more, everyone. Actually, every day we meet Microsoft, we, will, we meet Google Workspace, generally Instagram, Canva, YouTube, Live, Worksheet, and many more. That those are the product of technology we can use. We do not need to learn all, but we should choose. We should choose, and we we should also analyze which uh, which application that suit to our students. Remember the beginnings I described to you. That are there are four basic problems the students have: the device, the internet access the control and the guide, parents guide. We have to think very wisely when we are going to use application to our students. Uh, sometimes we know that we are running the online class, but in the same time, we also have to run the offline class. We should visit our students home because they do not have device. They want to study. This is the only way for us to avoid the loose generation. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I guess shop. It is 13.07. Yes, you still uh, have the, the, your topic is really interesting but now it is time for the commentator yes. may i invite uh, mr ramas muyana muyana yes. yeah muyana to give some uh, comments to teacher anang please welcome okay thank you miss tanika mr anang is very great uh, presentation is very inspiring us it's about inspiring teachers. We think that uh, not only uh, the real teacher is not only things about subject, what it is, uh, homework, assignment, but also the real teacher is things about the student need. And it is our problem in the first uh, era when we hit with the pandemic, uh, there are so many problems. What we have said with Mr. Anang, there are no, no devices, no internet data, no, no guiding for parents. And the, the, the basic thing is uh, the teacher is very what it is uh, surprisingly with the new era. So they try to, to do the best thing, to learn. And then what it is, uh, how to use many tools, how to, how to use uh, uh, 
learning management system. So for the first, it's very hard. But now, with the time gone, and then the teacher is uh, can what it is uh, able to uh, try to do the best thing and then they are expert and we know that the uh, many teachers to be a youtuber now <laughs> and then we make uh, some videos and then such as like that one and then uh, thanks god that the government uh, realized that we need the internet and every three months the government send the every student in uh, indonesia especially for the internet data and it's uh, the solution i think so it is a good uh, experience and it, it make we inspiring that and uh, we what it is uh, that the, the our problem in a passing pandemic not always the negatively things but also the positively thing the advantages that the teacher try to uh, what it is uh, able to uh, the quality of a uh, teaching learning process in the classroom uh, and also they try to uh, gain many knowledge, many skill, and many, uh, especially in a technological and also in the other, uh, what it is, uh, uh, how to, to be, uh, what it is, uh, come to the new era. And then the, the, the problem, the, the most problem in, I think not, not only in this country, but also in, in many countries is about uh, mental health we're passing in the mental health for not only for students but also us as a teachers we will try to complexity in our some problem but now as uh, we, we about 18 months we, we uh, struggle with the pandemic and we we see that it is uh, better and better and better and we hope that is uh, will be end yeah we'll go to the new era okay thank you so thank you so much for your comments about uh the topic which is really interesting um so to make sure and to conclude for teacher anang topic is about to recheck oneself or recheck for the teacher and also the student and as a teacher, make sure that you still teach the students' subjects, not the application for the students. Yes, that's right. That's very good. Please give a big applause to Mr. Anang. Thank you. And thank you, Mr. Ramat. Thank you.